We have one last hard drive tool available to us that is really cool. It is the disk image. A disk image, or a .dmg file, is a self-contained data file, and when double-clicked, it will launch and mount just like a regular hard drive. This way, we can create additional virtual hard drives that can be copied to other locations and also unmounted when not in use so our event and project libraries don't get overly cluttered. But we need to use a specialized type of disk image called a sparse image so that it will grow larger as we add files to it and shrink back to its original creation size when we remove files from it. In the Applications folder, go to the Utilities folder, and launch the Disk Utility application. In the toolbar, click the New Image button. Give the new DMG file a name. Select a location to save it in. Then below that, give the disk a name. This is the name the disk itself will have when mounted. Select a maximum size. Take into account all the media you'll be putting into it and render files. Be sure the format is Mac OS Extended Journaled. Encryption should be set to None. Partitions should be set to Hard Disk. Set Image Format to Sparse Disk Image. Then click Create. When the file is created, it automatically mounts as a hard drive. Final Cut Pro sees this just like any other hard drive and can store events and projects there. When you're done with it, just quit Final Cut Pro first. And in the Finder window, in the left-hand column, click the Eject Triangle next to our disk image. It's now just a DMG file. Launch Final Cut Pro again, and it's not there. Remember, you can copy or move this DMG file to any other drive you'd like. 